The squadron of locally made Khosr fighter jets will join the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, in the near future, Air Force Commander Brigadier General Hamid Behedi announced on September 22. The commander made the announcement during a ceremony to commemorate the anniversary of Operation Cayman 99, which was carried out by the IRIF in the very first days of the war with Iraq more than four decades ago. According to the semi-official Tasnim news agency, Brig. Gen. Behetti said that before the revolution, we could not have access to airplanes and our technical work was limited to replacing parts, but today in the Air Force and our colleagues in the Defense Ministry, they have entered the field of airplane manufacturing. A squadron of domestically made Sika aircraft was built and it is a very good aircraft. Now the construction of Khosr aircraft as a jet predator and bomber is in the final phases, and in the future a squadron of this aircraft will join the Army Air Force he added. The Khosr was developed by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company, based on the American Northrop F-5. According to the Iranian state media, the fighter jet is advanced avionics and multipurpose radar. It also uses digital data networks, a glass cockpit, heads-up display, ballistic computers and smart mobile mapping systems. The fighter jet has seven hardpoints with a total capacity of 3200 kilograms of armaments. It is also armed with a 20 mm cannon. In 2020, the Iranian Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics announced that three new Khosr aircraft had been delivered to the IRIF in a ceremony in Esfahan. Western analysts doubted Iran's ability to mass-produce the Khosr and described the jet to be inefficient as a weapon. However, they said it has the potential for training the new generation of Iranian fighter pilots. Iran has been working to rebuild its aerial capabilities for a while now. Earlier this month, the IRIAF received a number of Yak-130 training and light combat jets from Russia. According to unconfirmed reports, Tehran and Moscow also agreed on the supply of Su-30 and Su-35 fighter jets. Meanwhile, Iran drew widespread ridicule when it revealed that its supposedly state-of-the-art and domestically designed and built new Khosr jet fighter was really a 1970s US design with a fresh coat of paint, but according to an expert, the plane has an untold purpose that could save the Iranian Air Force. What Iran built is a 100% indigenously made fourth-generation fighter with advanced avionics, immediately registered with aviation experts as a knockoff of the F-5 Tiger, a U.S. jet that first flew in 1959. Iran still has a few F-5s and even F-14s in its inventory from before the Islamic Revolution, when it maintained relations with the U.S. Joseph Dempsey, a defense and military analyst at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, tweeted a useful comparison. After the debacle of Iran's latest entry into the world of fighter aircraft, the supposedly stealth Car 313, which appeared too small to even lift its pilot off the ground, many aviation watchers saw Iran's Khosr project as another failure or propaganda project for domestic consumption.
but according to Justin Bronk, an aerial combat expert at the Royal United Services Institute, the real Koser project isn't the F-5 Tiger reboot, but a new system of avionics simply parked in the F-5 as a placeholder. Iran failed to produce the real Koser project by the date of the announcement, so it instead jammed the new avionics and software into an F-5, the defense analyst Babak Tagbi tweeted. Bronk said the real Koser wasn't a fighter at all, but a jet trainer and a light attack plane that could save Iran's air force. The Iranian Air Force is an interesting mix, Bronk told Business Insider. They're, unquestionably, extremely good at making use of older equipment against endless predictions that those systems will break down for example, Iran still flies US-made F-14s and F-4s, while the US abandoned those airframes decades ago. But somehow, Iran, even under intense sanctions designed to ensure it can't get spare parts from the US, keeps them flying. Given the state of their economy and the embargoes, that is pretty impressive, Bronk said. Even with the impressive feat of workmanship that is an Iranian F-14 flying in 2018, when asked to describe Iran's air force's fighters against a regional foe like Saudi Arabia, Bronk said that hopelessly quaint would not be too far off the mark. Matched against Israel or the US in air power, Iran sees its chances sink from bad to much, much worse. But besides quaint aircraft having no chance against upgraded Saudi F-15 gunships, Iran has another problem in its shortage of pilots and trainer aircraft, which is where the real Koser comes in.